welcome back. Sam is Beauty here with another video. <laughs> I know y'all like, what's wrong with her? No, I'm not medicated. This is actually how I am when I'm in a good mood. I'm like this every day because this is me. This is how I am. I'm very silly. Um, I'm very silly. I like to keep people laughing. I think that I'm a stand-up comedian. <sighs> um... I do. I think I'm the funniest person in the house, even though everybody has voted that that person is Terrence. But I, I don't even believe that. And secondly, I still win because I made them. Like, all of my kids, they think that they're funny, but they think that they just, like, they're funny because of them. But they don't know that they get it from me because their dad definitely does not have a sense of humor. It's very dry. So, um... I sent Terrence to the store. We are not going to Olive Garden today. Although I wanted to. We're not going. But not because of me. But because my caretaker said, how about Chick-fil-A? And me and my husband was supposed to do Chick-fil-A yesterday. But we forgot. So Terrence is on his way to Chick-fil-A. I did send him. And then the other two are about to come in. So if they come in through the midst of this video, I'm just letting y'all know. Because it is um like 2.40 p.m. And they get out off the bus at 2.45. So they'll probably be interrupting my video. So the respiratory therapist did come. And she found out what the problem was, which was um, that I was over-breathing my machine. So my settings was, I think my doctor had it set up for me to go up to 438 breaths, I guess, overnight or something. I'm not sure when I'm supposed to do these breaths. But according to the machine, I was doing like close to 700. So I was over breathing it and she fixed it. Actually, she had to call the doctor to get permission because um, they was going to have to send a new script. So instead of me having to go to the doctor, she just said, make sure they have um, can adjust to patient's comfortability. So that gives us a long range without having to worry about all that. So that's good. I'm very thankful for that. I should have a tremendous night's sleep now that my machine is. All right, I think I just heard Terrence come in and that's going to be an issue because the other two are going to come in and be like, where's our food? You didn't think about us? And then it's going to be like, dude, you weren't even supposed to be here. Hi, Terrence. Are you not going to eat up here with me? I'm not here for you. Oh, I guess since my lunch is here, I might as well do a mukbang. Terrence, don't let me be. And when you get a chance, can you bring that machine back up? It don't have to come down, but you know. It's not a mook bang. That's not no mook bang. A mook bang? That don't even sound right. So I'm going to have to. Am I on my phone? I'm recording. <laughs> on my phone. So yeah, guys. Um, Try to figure out how I'm going to prop y'all up here. I would do it from, from this angle, but I have a chase over there, and I just board all these tiles and stuff, and it just don't look good, so I ain't going to embarrass myself like that. Why are you peeking at me? I'm telling you, Chirin, Chirin, C-H-I-L, or C-H-I-R-R-E-N, those people, they are rude. I'm telling you, you... Thank you. One is yours. So you not coming back. You gonna go play your video game. I don't, don't want to be in the uh, You not on, you right You're not on the YouTube. It's on me. You're not on the YouTube. That's the old way to say it. <laughs> the YouTube. You blowing your nose in my... Oh my God. He just showed me. That is so nasty, Terrence. I got to pray, y'all. No, people with things to do usually do YouTube. People with things to do usually do what? YouTube. Like, I'm going to the mall. Let me record. I am doing something. I'm eating. They don't want to look at you all day. And yeah, they do. Do you hear my son shooting my little YouTube dream down? It's okay. Oh, Self-love. Yeah. When others don't support you, you support yourself. Okay, so that's as far as my mukbang can go. Excuse me. 
Because I'm not hungry. I didn't know that they, they did that, but uh. What? They, they put the sides in this bag. Yeah. Oh, that's your fry? Did you just eat my fry? Huh? That. It fell. I didn't want you to. Didn't um, I just tell you? I didn't want you to get sick. That right. children are disrespectful. Children, mom, and children. It's. Is that was I wish I could have caught that on camera. I wish y'all could have seen him just eat my French fry. I'm sorry, pancake. I'm sorry, pancake trying to take a nap. I get emotional. And people think that I'm yelling, but I'm not. It's just that I'm passionate about what I'm saying. Right? So yeah, um, I'm trying to eat this, but I this is really the last bite, and I'm Really glad I didn't go to Olive Garden because the same thing that happened right now was, would be the same thing that happened then. And the kids can be a, like, they can attest to this. Even my husband. When we go out to dinner, I get food full before my dinner even comes. And I'm not hardly eating anything. It's just, thank you, baby. It's just that my appetite, like, I get hungry like this and it goes away. Like, it's like a light switch for me. So I thought I wanted Chick-fil-A. He don't like that. Overstimulating my baby, rubbing him. Um. Yes, it happened again. Yes, yeah, so I get full fast. That's one of the issues that I'm having with my stomach. And that's why I had to have um, an empty and study last year to see like what's going on. But anyway, I'm sorry that my mug thing didn't last that long. Um, and I know you guys are probably like, yeah, she's going to eat that off the camera. But no, I, I'm about to get these fr french fries to my kids. Um, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. Hi, baby. I told y'all. Hold up. I was totally not my about anything. Oh my god, and somebody's calling me and it's not my husband, so decline. Um I forgot what I was saying, y'all, but the respiratory therapist found out what was wrong with the um thing and we're not going to Olive Garden. We'll probably go somewhere out to dinner at least one time before Terrence goes back to school. Other than that, I just wanted to jump on and just check in really quickly and let y'all know. Guys know what I found out about the um, ventilator. I was about to say respiratory something. Oh, the other thing was she told me, y'all know my little pacer? They said they have a ventilator this size. This little. Oh, my God. Do y'all realize the. Can I get a hug and a kiss? First, um, and take them shoes off. You now you go take them shoes off. Y'all gotta stop walking with shoes in the house. Y'all contaminating it. Then I tell y'all she was gonna say that. If y'all didn't hear her, she said, "Did you get us anything?" Did you? No, I didn't because y'all wasn't supposed to be here. But what I'm about to do is give y'all these French fries. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Are you recording? You. Yes, I'm recording. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. No, they're Why are you making that deep voice? You're... Now you go get the mail. I know that you came right in here with no mail. How was school? School. Everybody says that. You know, when I was in high school, well, nobody asked me how my day was. But if they did, I would be like, school was excellent. My high school years was awesome. I don't know about everybody else. Hi, baby. Hi. I love you. Here, y'all want to split these french fries? I just bored them, but like, y'all know how I'll be hungry and then not. Mm -hmm. So lucky for y'all. Now you share, share that with your brother. I don't have any sauce because Terrence didn't ask me if I wanted any, but he probably has ketchup and stuff. Okay. Thank you. Let me finish recording. You don't have to close my door. Don't close me in here, please. Yeah, my kids always have this habit of closing the door. And they have a habit of trying to close me in my room. Because they think that if I'm in my room with the door closed, I don't know what's going on. But that's not true. 
Now Pancake is leaving me. Because that's what he do every day once his mom come home. Pancake is it is it he uses me. He uses me for my company and he uses me for my snacks and he uses me for my rubbies and my kisses and stuff. But as soon as his mom come home, he like bye. And then I don't see him for hours. So maybe he'll come visit me later. Um so yeah, they said they have a ventilator this big. So she told me to do some research on it. And see if it's something that I would be interested in because they have them, which would be like, which would make it so much easier. Oh, and she said that with the ventilator, it can just like clip onto my belt. It has like a thing because my issue with breathing is not my oxygen level in case nobody knew that. The only reason why I'm on oxygen is because of my diaphragm pressing up, up against that lung, like that lung is entrapped. And because of that, it makes it more difficult for me to breathe. That's the only reason why I'm on oxygen. I'm not on oxygen. Like, if I take this off, my oxygen level is just going to, like, sh fall immediately. It's not. I No, it's not like that. It's like the further I walk, then my oxygen will become compromised. But it's it's not. Um, like, I'm not on oxygen. I'm on oxygen for support. And so we figure out this diaphragm thing and all that stuff. So the thing about this, she said, if I was to get the ventilator thing, one, I could be on in 24 hours and it replaces my oxygen and I don't have to be on it because the ventilator um, helps like open my lungs. That's my issue with breathing. My, my lungs do not open all the way. They don't function all the way. I told you the bottom of my left lobe is permanently scarred and collapsed so it doesn't function and that ventilator you know, opens and closes it. So she thought that that would be a good idea. She said, look into it, do your research, let me know what you think, and we can always try it. And then she was talking, because I was telling her, like, I'm going out of town next week, and now I have to try to figure out how many oxygen tanks I need, which I hate that because you can never be precise. So I'm going to take eight tanks. I order eight. I'm going to take... <clears throat> Eight because I'm supposed to be away for four days. I don't even know if that's going to be enough. But I'm also going to take my concentrator downstairs. So I'm thinking like if I'm in a hotel room, I can be on a concentrator. No problem. But I got to be careful. Like if I, two, four, six, eight. Yeah. So if I'm out of the room for eight hours a day, I should be able to be good with two tanks. Right? Um. So I'm thinking that. But the other thing she told me, she she said it's this thing called Life Life 2000 or something like that. It's this um, portable oxygen, oxygen tank. They only usually give it to you like if you're traveling, like getting on a plane. Matter of fact, it's, I'll tell you all about it. But anyway, the, the oxygen tank is on wheels. It's really little and it's definitely smaller than the tank, lighter than the tank. But it has like the compressor mixed in with the actual oxygen thing so like it makes oxygen and it's the compressor at the same time meaning that if i was to go somewhere i would only have to take one thing i wouldn't have to take tanks in my concentrator i mean compressor or concentrator concentrator i wouldn't have to take two things i would just have to take one and it's safe enough to get on a plane with like it's already tsa or whatever approved because if you don't know, if you're on oxygen, you got to call ahead of time and this and other, blah, blah, blah. So that's good. And plus, um, the thing plugs into the wall. So when I say it's a concentrator, you can just plug it in when you're like stationary or whatever the case may be. So she told me to call the man to see if I can get one of those. And I really hope that I can. She said that the problem with it is that it only goes up to three and I'm on between two and four liters of oxygen. So if I'm just chilling and resting and not doing much, not moving around much, I'm at two. But like, say if I, um, usually like if I have to get up and go to the car, I'm on four. Or if I'm at the market, I'm on four because what I'm trying to do now, instead of me riding around in a little cart, well, I'll, I'll say for at least last time, last time I went to the market, I, I was able to walk around the whole market. I just had to turn my air up. And I wasn't tired either. But now that my breathing seems to be changing, I probably would not be able to walk around the um, 
the market because I can I can sense it. All right, I have to end this soon because now my husband is calling me and my phone is telling me that it's about to end. So I just wanted to um catch up with you guys and let you guys know the new technology that I learned. And I'm going to look into those two devices and let y'all know how I feel about them. And yeah. If nobody told you that you're enough today, you are just the way you are with no strings attached. And if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. So until next time, guys, peace, love, and blessings until the next one.